Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about the tools and systems I use to stay organized. If you haven't yet watched my previous videos on how to write a good pitch template, how to find brands and contacts to email, and how to respond back to brands and negotiate deals, catch those videos before you get into this one, which I'm talking a little bit more about how to stay organized and scaling up your pitching. I use Bento for everything related to sending pitches, tracking pitches, writing email templates, sending responses, and measuring what's working and not. I'm going to be doing a demo here about how to use Bento effectively. Let's get into how to send emails on Bento. What you're seeing here is the dashboard and a bunch of filtering options for you to be able to find and look for brands that you want to pitch to. So I've already gone ahead and added a location filter to put United States because I'm trying to target brands that are based or ship into the United States. If I wanted to pick a specific category like kitchen and kitchen and dining, I might want to add a category like this. And it'll give me a list of brand recommendations based on these two categories. We also have um, opportunities for you to filter for verified partnerships or works with UGC creators. And this is on a paid plan. Once you've found this brand, you just have to hit email right here. And we will load your pitch template here and any other ones that you've created. And we give you a couple options of who you might want to email. We give you their uh, their title so you can select the one that would be the best fit here. Here I might choose something like the communications coordinator. Um, and then I would just go ahead, tweak any of my emails if it needs to. You can always hit help me write and we have an AI feature here to help you customize your email. Okay, there you go. It's customized given the information that we have. All you have to do is hit insert. It'll update this email and make sure it's all good. Something you definitely want to do is add a follow up email. So you can actually add multiple follow up emails by doing this. You can add your follow up template. And what this does is it'll automatically schedule the follow up email to go four business days after the initial pitch if you do not hear back from the brand. If you hear back from anyone at the brand, we will automatically cancel the follow up so that you don't double email the person. Once your email looks good, you have a couple options here. You can send yourself a test email just because I know some people want to make sure it looks good. Uh, a common question I get is what does it look like when you send an email on Bento? It'll look exactly as if it went from your Gmail account. So actually when you hit send on this email, you can go into your Gmail account and go to your sent inbox in your Gmail and you, uh, you will see the email get sent out. So because we connect it directly into your Gmail account, it's just the same as if you were sending an email from your Gmail account. The only thing we do is send it on your behalf and then check if the person has responded before we send out the follow up for you. So that's what our Gmail integration does. So you have the option here to send the email right now and or schedule it if you are someone like me who works during the day and you want to schedule it out in the future. So you might want to hit schedule. Uh, I want to schedule it during business hours. I'll send it tomorrow. I'll hit schedule. There we go. It got sent. So if you go into your inbox here, which will be the same as your inbox in your Gmail, you'll see your scheduled emails here. And then once it gets sent, it'll be in sent. And then you'll be able to even go in your Gmail account and see that email get sent. The second area I want to show you that a lot of people get value on is going to your recos page. This is a page where we curate brand recommendations for you, and we will draft you your emails here using your templates uh, or Bento generated. This just makes it easy for you to send a ton of emails in one sitting because you can just go hit schedule, schedule, and just go through each of the emails here. If you ever want to improve the recommendations here, you just go to your profile here, update your preferences. You can give us as much information as you want around your past partnerships and why you think you'd be a good fit for a certain niche. And we'll actually use that to help draft you the pitch emails. So once you've done that, all you got to do is hit refresh recommendations um, and then we will update the recommendations for you. Okay, there we go. So we've updated some of our recommendations after we hit refresh. The last tab I want to share to help you pitch more consistently and at volume is the campaigns feature. So this is a feature that allows you to save a bunch of brands into a list and then send them all out at once. Let's go into brands and just save a bunch of brands that you might want to pitch to. So I'm just going to create a new one here. So campaigns for June. 
And let's just go ahead and save like a handful of brands. Gone ahead and saved a bunch of brands. What you got to do here is create a campaign. Uh, we'll select the list that we just saved. So right here, show you all the brands. You're going to hit select all, and then you're going to set up a campaign. So basically you'll choose when you want the campaign to start. I typically like starting a campaign on a Monday and then ending it like on a Thursday. So we'll just do that here. You want to make sure you're choosing the right send time. So I'll do it during business hours here and I'm sending it from Monday to Thursday. If you want to send a follow up, you can also schedule that so that you can schedule a follow up for business days after the initial pitch goes out in case you do not hear back from the brand. We'll title this June campaign. And it's honestly as simple as that. You've gone ahead and selected six brands. You're going to send them all throughout this time period, and we're going to automatically schedule a follow up for you. And once you hit create, um, it'll just start scheduling out these emails. Let me connect with my Gmail first. There we go. Go ahead and hit create. And there we go. We have scheduled six brands. And once the emails go out, we'll actually go ahead and tell you your campaign stats. So we'll tell you your open rate, your response rate. This is a great way to just compare how campaigns are performing. So after you started sending emails on Bento, I love using the tracker to actually just help me stay organized. So here I track brands that I have pitched to. And if I see brands have opened my emails multiple times but haven't responded to me, this is a prime opportunity for you to send a personalized follow-up. Love using the collaborations tab here. You can move brands that you are currently doing deals with so you can see what you have outstanding to film and what you need to invoice for and all this. And then most importantly, this is where I go to, to do my repitching. I use our virtual assistant, which basically takes care of all my initial pitching needs. The virtual assistant sends a 300 to 400 pitches on my behalf for me every single month and takes care of all the follow-ups. And I only need to manage the relationship once I get a response from the initial pitch. It's great for you if you are someone who has a nine to five and you just don't have time to pitch. You're someone who just needs volume and consistency out there. Um, and you know, you are someone who likes to manage a relationship after the initial communications. Here's how I stay organized with my schedule. So I spend about an hour to go through follow-up. So these are basically any brand in which I have sent my rates to, I have sent content ideas to, who have expressed some form of positive sentiment to me in an email thread, but just hasn't responded back to my last email. So in this, I actually just go into my Gmail account. I just look at the most recent emails I've sent and just go see if I was the last person to respond, if I can just send another check-in email. And then I'll spend another hour a week just doing a quick sweep of all brands I've worked with in the past and just seeing who I haven't checked in with recently and who I can like repitch to. If you followed along this series, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Please let me know any feedback that you have in the comments. And if you are ready to get started on your pitching journey, sign up for Bento. It's completely free to join. On bento.com, you get 20 emails every single month where you get to send emails to you know the hundreds of thousands of brands that we have on our platform we're constantly making updates and changes and we listen to our users a lot if you give bento a try and you have feedback or you close a deal or you have any challenges i'd love to hear from you send me an email or leave a comment below um, i read everything i'm super excited to build more features and tools for the content creator community. And if there's any videos you want me to make next that can help you learn more about sales, improve your pitching, uh, figure out how to go from like zero to one, um, I'm, I'd love to do that for you as well. Um, so give me any feedback in the comments and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye guys.